afternoon, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. We are headed down there to the beach. We're approximately, I don't know, 60 yards away from the, from the water's edge. Less than that, probably. But as you can see, that's my place directly behind me. All that stuff back there, all my stuff <laughs> going way down there. That is all my buildings and whatnot. Uh, we've been working hard. Last couple of days we hadn't done much. I'm out here in the middle of the sugar cane walking around, as you can tell. I'm out here cutting across, going down here to the beach. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a windy day today. Windy and rainy. It's been raining most of the night, but let's go down here and check out the beach. As you guys can tell, it is blowing hard here today. The wind is really blowing. We've got waves coming in. Oh my goodness. Got a bubble. I don't know if that's going to do any good or not. It is very, very windy. Yeah, these waves are big today coming in here. That wind is really blowing. It's getting wet. I'm going to try to cross this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. It might be pretty deep. We'll find out here real quick. Oh no. Pretty deep. It's about waist deep. And it's getting deeper. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is deep. Oh. Well, I, oh no, very rocky. Well, we made it, but I got good and wet. <laughs> that is deep, That's deeper than I anticipated right there. That's way deep right there. Yeah, it looks like the tide's coming in right now. Yeah, I'm one plan on going swimming today. <laughs> oh, here comes one of the neighbor boys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he calls me Uncle Mark. <laughs> But yeah, I'll come over and find out what's going on with my friend's place over here. Ray, Ray and Jenny Bacon. They've been building hollow blocks over here. They got some guy over here uh, with one of those hollow block makers. I guess he, for one bag of concrete, he makes, uh, what is it, 40 hollow blocks per one sack of concrete that's a pretty good deal boy look at all the hollow blocks that they got over here now they got a bunch they definitely have a bunch of course he's going to take a bunch that's what he said he's going to do he wants to build his uh house out of hollow block this time instead of half um hardy plex and half Concrete. Yeah, he's got he's got something going here. My God, look at all these hollow blocks. Now that's the way to do it. You know, I wish I'd have done it because these hollow blocks are probably much better, stronger than the ones you buy. Those ones we buy. I mean, just barely touch them, they fall apart. Golly. Yeah, he's got a bunch, guys. He definitely got a bunch of hollow blocks here. Yeah, he hadn't done much here. This is like this last time I was here. Those are 12 mm's there. Hello. <laughs> Making hollow blocks, huh? Lots of them. Yeah, those are 
lot better quality than what you can buy around here. They've got a nice little wind block going. No, dog fighting. <laughs> Where's Ray at? Inside? Is he? Okay. Let's go visit Ray, see what he's up to. You can see there's not much left. Oh, uh, Ray and Jenny Bacon has a GoFundMe page. We go to Ray Bacon, uh, to his Facebook. Uh, you can probably find his GoFundMe page if you guys want to help. I mean, he lost it. I mean, he lost literally every single thing he has here. Look at his doors. Not much left there. Knock, knock. Ray? Yeah, you can tell he's got a living room opened up to the ocean. <laughs> it's okay. Well, apparently he's not there. I went up there and knocked on his door. The door's locked. So apparently he's not over there. We don't go back over here and see if he's over here. These people over here have been putting him up. These are his neighbors. This is one of the uh, principals for one of the schools in the Himalato area. Wild dogs coming at me. Wild dogs. Okay, guys. Uh, Ray wasn't home. Guy was mistaken. He thought he was upstairs. Got a bunch of kids upstairs messing around. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we got some sort of storm brewing today. Look at it. You can't even see Sabu over there. It is raining over there today. Raining on Spoo Island. Right there. Wall to wall area. North of Wall towards Burilly. Looks like they're getting hammered right now. Oh boy. Now I gotta go swimming again. I got to go swimming. Oh, crazy dog. Yeah, we got definitely a high tide coming in right now. Definitely a high tide coming in. You know what? I'm like, man, I don't know if that'd be a good idea or not. We got waves coming in out there. Yeah, I don't think that's a good area going up there. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut her down for a minute while I'm crossing. Yeah, guys, that wind is really howling today. We're probably gonna get more rain tonight, looks like. <coughs> Definitely raining over some food. Yeah, I see a lot, of, still a lot, a lot of blue tarps over there. A lot of new roofs, a lot of blue tarp for roofing. <laughs> Same way over here too. This guy over here got some of his house blue tarp. I mean, it works pretty good. I got part of mine right now for our carport area until we get our roofing panels. Boy, look at the damage to that seawall right there. That was brand new. That thing went out probably, I don't know, probably another. You see that, that piece of rock right there? It probably went out another 20 meters where it stopped out there. These waves totally destroyed that. The other one on the other side of that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a nice cool day today on Negros Island. The sea is rough today. I got a friend of mine who's been trying to talk me into going fishing with him. 
uh, he leaves about 4 a.m. in the morning over in Kalyasan. He wants me to go with him, uh, spend a little afternoon. He says somewhere back down there, there's a place where the, the ocean gets real shallow. You can get out and walk around in the, in the middle, right? <laughs> and he says you can just get right out and walk around. Uh, that's where he sets up his net. He's got like a gill net. He sets it up right there and uh, pulls it across that thing. He usually does pretty good. He catches 20, 30, 40 fish at a time, uh, almost on a daily basis. Well, the sugar cane has gotten deep. Last time I was out here, it was just right at my knees. Now it's chest deep now. It is chest deep. Stuff grows fast. Very fast. There's the house. Agnes was taking a nap a minute ago. I didn't tell her I was leaving. Probably wondering where, the, where I went. All my stuff's there. <laughs> she was supposed to go get her hair rebonded. I'm not sure what that consists of. I told her I want my hair rebonded too. <laughs> I think they take a uh, uh, curling iron and straighten out the hair. I'm not for sure what that consists of. I've seen it done, but I've never really paid any attention. Down in Dumaguete, they went from uh, 1,500 to 2,000 pesos, depending on where you go to get your hair rebonded. I don't know if it's good for your hair or not but they they put it in there oh my god look at this okay guys i want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to our channel we cannot do it without your assistance now be sure to give us a thumbs up for our videos and uh, you know what we will definitely catch you guys on the very next video which the very next video will probably be a uh, cost of living for the month of April. Thank you and God bless. Peace out.